asked me on Twitter not long ago, what inspired you to become famous? And it really threw me off because there's never been a point in my life where I've said, you know what, I really want to be famous one day. Successful, sure, but not famous. I think the line between success and fame has gone a bit askew over the years and the meanings of those words have been lost. I've always wanted to sing and act and perform for people, but that's a career that's hard to do without an audience to perform for. To be a successful actress, you need a lot of people watching and liking what you do to reach the height in that field. And a byproduct of that many people watching and liking what you do is fame. For instance, I love Helena Bonham Carter. I think she's brilliant, but I bet you anything that when she started out, she didn't say, oh, I really want to be famous one day. I bet she said, I want to be the best at what I do one day. Aiming to be famous without reason feels a little bit arrogant because what makes anyone think that they can be famous without giving other people a reason to respect them in that way? Being successful implies that you have a field to be successful in. You want to be a successful doctor, lawyer, accountant, actress, singer, it implies that you've got ambition to get to the top of the field you've chosen. And I think this is also the reason that I'm not a fan of giving myself the job title YouTuber. This is totally my own personal opinion and I judge not those who disagree, but I feel like anyone has the potential to pick up a camera and upload a video. It takes minimal ambition because it's quite a quick and easy task to complete, but not everyone has the potential or grand ambition to complete seven years of medical training or however many years of drama school or to lock themselves away for months on end writing an album. Personally, I feel like there's a huge difference between using YouTube as a platform to get your amazing filmmaking skills seen or your motivational speeches heard or to tell people about your latest business venture and using YouTube to gain an audience to watch you shove cinnamon in your mouth. Look at John Green, for example. He's a New York Times best-selling author. He's reached the top of the field that he wanted to be successful in and is passionate about, but he makes videos on the side to let his avid readers know what he's up to and the next projects he's working on. He can correct me if there's a slim chance he's watching and he thinks I'm wrong, but He's a writer that makes videos, not a YouTuber that writes. The same way that I'm an actress and singer that makes videos, not a YouTuber that acts and sings now and then. And that's always been the case. I was an actress and a singer way before I even knew about YouTube. YouTube was just my way to get my voice heard a little more. So my point is, after all of that, aim for success rather than fame. Usually I found that success is long term and far more satisfying and fame for no reason is short lived. But success requires far more hard work and ambition, but it will feel more well deserved in the end. I'd say Disney princess, but I don't think that's allowed, is it? Is that, is that allowed? Can that be allowed? I'm saying that's allowed. I want to be a Disney princess.